North Carolina is known as the graveyard of the Atlantic. Thousands of shipwrecks along the coast attract visitors from around the world. Divers can watch the abundant marine life that occupy the wrecks. But one diver's dream quickly becomes a nightmare. Teeth are the first things most people notice about the sand tiger shark. And along a shipwreck, just about 20 miles off the North Carolina coast, one diver gets an up-close view. What we're seeing here is the sand tiger shark. Even though these sharks look really kind of, um, you know, kind of scary with these teeth, these are really the kind of teeth that are meant to catch a fast-moving fish and keep that fish in their teeth. Growing to lengths of more than 10 feet, sand tiger sharks hover around North Carolina's shipwrecks. They don't actually have a swim bladder like most bony fishes. They go to the surface, they gulp air, they hold that in their stomach, and that keeps them neutrally buoyant, and it gives them the appearance of hovering in the water, which you can actually see in this video with the diver. The graveyard of the Atlantic boasts thousands of shipwrecks, and divers have reported seeing more than 100 sharks at a single dive site. You do the math. The fish love shipwrecks because it gives them all these nooks and crannies. There's lots of nice hiding spots, and that then attracts the sharks. But if the sharks are attracted to the fish, why did this shark approach the diver? Sharks like to approach from behind to surprise their prey. One of the most important things to do when there are sharks around is to keep your head on a swivel. So you want to look in all directions at all times, as much as you can. Could the shark be gearing up for an attack? These sharks are sly. If you're going to be going after fast fish, you don't want to be like a mariachi band down there, like making a lot of noise, you know, telling everybody where you are. Luckily for the diver, she's probably not on the shark's menu. This shark was not drawn to the diver. This shark was drawn to the wreck and to the fish around the wreck. It's hard to know what the shark was thinking, but the diver's reaction was spot on. She seemed to turn calmly to the shark. She held her ground. The shark swam away. She didn't panic. In most cases, divers have nothing to fear from the sand tiger shark. But accidents happen. In the summer of 2018, two children were bitten in the surf along New York's Fire Island. A tooth extracted from the boy's leg revealed the culprit, none other than the sand tiger shark. No recorded sand tiger shark attacks have been fatal, but there is something special about them that's downright creepy. While most people are afraid of the look of the sand tiger, that's not what terrifies me. They actually perform intrauterine cannibalism. That's right, they eat their own. They produce pups in two uteri, and in fact, the largest and strongest embryo in there eats all the others, and then in fact, only one pup in each uterus is born. So basically, it's probably better to be in the water with a sand tiger than its womb.